Hey, welcome back. It's episode 124. Today is March 1st, 2018. Well, some of you have been asking about what I've been posting in Japanese on my vlogs for an entire 123 days and change since I forgot to post some days. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, take the chance and record one in English and give you an update on what I've been talking about. What I've been talking about is nothing spectacular, doubter, but basically, I'm just vlogging about my everyday life. And in Japanese, I call it the Christian businessman, Nakamura, because I've been curious about how many Christians in business I can actually meet uh, by putting stuff like this out. Waze is yelling in my ear here. Be quiet, Waze. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I don't know too many uh, Christian guys in business. I've worked at two Fortune 500 corporations over the past 10 years of being out of grad school. And yet, I've met probably 10 believers. Or at least 10 who are willing to talk about it, right? So let's give it another, mm, you know, if we're ambitious, we'll call it a 50%, uh, you know, out in the open rate. And maybe that's 20 people that I'm actually in touch with, right? 10 that I know about who are believers, 10 who aren't willing to talk about it. And, um, you know, I think we'd all like to think as committed believers that there's more to being, uh, you know, a believer than just simply with your friends or in your personal life. And then once you're out in the corporate world, you got to live by secular norms and this and that. And your language changes and your thought process changes and your personality changes, your character changes. And uh, what? All of a sudden, once you're with your family, with your friends, uh, people who've known you uh, outside of the corporate world, you start changing your language, you're speaking about certain things, you start quoting Bible verses. You know what I mean? A little bit of uh, unnecessary schizophrenia uh, happening there, right? And I don't want to be that guy. And I think any of you who have known me for a, for an extended period of time know that uh, I try and stay the same guy regardless of where I go. And not always successful, but... I find that it's something that helps me stay accountable to the faith that I so profess too. And nobody is perfect, I understand, that's not even the point, but I strive for a level of integrity. And so with that said, I'm trying to do it in Japanese just because it's a chance for me to keep up my Japanese, learn how to speak into a camera, when you're not driving that is, and uh, also possibly build up a little bit of history because I think it'd be fun to get to know more. Uh, Japanese people and people who are interested in Christianity, Jesus, and faith, uh, all these things that maybe in the U.S. it's easier for you to be exposed to because you can just, you know, Google a church and go see uh, what happens on a Sunday. Whereas in Japan, it's, you know, not so easy, right? There aren't that many churches. Many churches are, you know, a mere 15, 30 people. And uh, it's a really kind of a unintentionally closed kind of group, right? Because your, your, your norms of what happens within the church, for the most part, are quite a bit different than your daily life of what you're exposed to in Japan, right? So anyhow, I thought maybe it's a chance for people who don't have an everyday exposure to Christians or people who talk about Jesus and the Bible, uh, have a way to find out without having to uh, actually physically go somewhere and being the, you know, odd, random uh visitor to church as a non-believer so it's one of the things that i've been doing i think it's been fun no real traction doesn't really matter uh because it's part of my journey and uh, vlogging about my day another aspect though uh the business part is that some of you already know that i do not understand how people are so comfortable working for a corporation at a fixed salary all year round you know the person who doesn't work as hard as me and the person who works harder than me get the same amount of money as what they're promised at the beginning of the year. And of course, that's a loss on the part of, you know, if the guy doesn't work as hard, then it's the loss on the part of the corporation, right? Because you maybe overpaid them. And then for the person who works really hard but only gets the same amount, uh, well, that's a loss on them, right? And then there's all this, you know, politics, this and that that happens. And at the end of the day, your value is not contingent, is not valued based on what you're providing to the marketplace or better yet, the client, but rather by somebody internally who's just looking at the books. 
So you can do an amazing job and have an amazing difference on a client's life. But at the end of the day, if someone else in some other department screwed up and you lost a lot of money for the company, that overflows to you too. And then it turns into what's happening at my company right now, which is, you know, no bonuses, no pay increase, right? I think this is a reality for many. I gotta take my sunglasses off if I uh, go into the parking lot here. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. So like this parking lot here, right? When our first child was born, uh, you know, almost five years ago, the nearest lot to my company, which is you know, just down the street here, same, same zip code, same proximity here, was 80 bucks a month, okay? 80 bucks a month. That is almost 200 in five years' time at downtown Los Angeles. There's a lot of construction happening, a lot of demand here for real estate, and a lot of price hikes, right? Which is great for business for them, but have has the average pay for the average corporate worker downtown almost tripled in the past five years? No way, no way, right? You know, the truth probably is that people have actually had no pay increases over the past five years, and if you're lucky, maybe you got Hold on, let's try and back up here. I prefer backing up because, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, did you know that the majority of parking lot accidents happen by people backing out of their lot? And then, uh, you know, the police can't write your report because it's private property, right? And then you gotta go fight with the insurance company yourself. So, uh, you gotta, uh, You should always back into your lot so that when you're coming out, you can see who exactly is in the path of the moving path. All right? A little bit of trivia for you. Is that helpful? Hope so. So anyways, uh, with that all said, I am in the process of, you know, testing different businesses, trying out different things. I had various uh, ideas in 2015 that I tried, signed up for some courses. And, uh, you know, try this, try that. Some I was just uncomfortable with uh, personally. I uh, just didn't feel it was the right kind of, didn't feel it was the right kind of business for me. And then uh, some others, there were like regulatory things that would not get me in. Uh, some others just need a lot of funding and I wasn't really willing to go that big to require funding. So, you know, with that trial and error, trial and error, keep working up early and do the things that people aren't willing to do so that in the future you can live the way people don't get to do, get to live. So that's, that's the goal here. I wanna provide my family a better life. And uh, I know that both in the US and Japan, there are a lot of people who don't like their job, but somehow uh, aren't willing to step out and do something about that. And I want to, so I'm gonna keep trying. So I thought about uh, going into business for myself starting around 2014 or so and bought into courses, tested a bunch of stuff, like I said, and, um, you know, here I am at 28T still working for a corporation, right? And some people are like, maybe you shouldn't talk about that, you know, because you've been trying and you've been failing and you've lost money and uh, you've made some money, but, you know, definitely still, you know, in the red compared to where you started, right? You know, um, maybe you shouldn't talk about that. Who cares? It's my loss, not your loss. And if you're judging me about it, uh, most likely you work in a corporation and you're not actually happy with your life, right? And so if my story and uh, looking down on my situation may justify, uh, you know, your inability to take action on your current situation, so be it. And, uh, but those of you who are, you know, in business for yourself or you've been trying like I have and you've been making investments into uh, yourself, and uh, learning more things so that you can act on more opportunity, you know exactly where I'm coming from. And I embrace your hugs. I appreciate it because I know you know what it's like. All right, so that's what I've been doing in my vlog. Just my life as a Christian guy and as a business guy. I'm gonna continue building and uh, maybe I should start doing this in English once in a while as well. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, here I am. So, we will head out of the car and head into the corporation today and uh, sit a few meetings, help a few clients, and uh, 
if it's light, then I'll work on my own stuff a little bit on the side as well, you know? But first, got to be faithful to the people who are paying your salary right now. And I think that's a, an important part of the uh, integrity as a believer, so I will do that. <coughs> and uh, once that's done, then, uh, you know, there's time for your own stuff and you should hustle on that as well. You know, one of the big things that I do want to keep talking about in my vlog, regardless of whether I do this in English or Japanese, is where's the balance between hustling and pursuing your, your future lifestyle that you're looking for and going all out and going all in, but at the same time, respecting your responsibility as a husband, as a father, as a Christian guy, <clears throat> uh, to spend time with people especially your family. And, you know, I posted yesterday that, um, yeah, it's, it's honestly hard for me. Like, it's a struggle for me, right? When I'm going home, you know, 5, 5.30, I'm, you know, just spent the best hours of my day, energy-wise, creativity-wise, uh, intention-wise, ambition-wise, to making someone else rich, right? The shareholders of the corporation I work for. I don't make any more money for it, right? They promise me a certain amount. I do that work, right? And by the way, I, I am very blessed and I do very well, uh, you know, within what Los Angeles, uh, middle, middle class Los Angeles does today. And, you know, we're not, we're, you know, just getting by, uh, but it allows my wife to not work, right? So, you know, we're, we're definitely blessed about that. Really grateful. And uh, I don't want you to think that I'm complaining about the good deal that I have. It's not the point here. Uh, but the point being that I'm still working to make someone else rich, right? Like someone else is enjoying an amazing lifestyle because I work for them. And I'm not happy about that, right? And so I just want to continue working because I'm not there yet. And But at the same time, I do want to see my family. I do want to help my wife who's been busting her ass uh, you know, helping the kids, especially with, we got two and one's been sick. And so he's like whiny and needs to be held a lot. And uh, he doesn't eat and <clears throat> it's just fussy, right? You, you are parents who know this. So, you know, where's the balance, right? It's, it's like a real pulling from opposite directions. Uh, you know, you're doing the splits, uh, you know, between these two Obligation is a little bit of a heavy word, but these desires is a little bit too passionate. Uh, responsibility sounds a little bit uh, too dry, but you get what I mean, right? So those are the kind of things that I continue to think about. I'm just going to vlog about it every day. And, uh, you know, one day in the future, maybe it'll be encouragement to myself when I'm forgetting where I came from. Maybe one day it'll be encouragement to you if you decide that you want to embark on a journey of this kind too. And if you're in the middle of it, Hey, you have a friend in me. Keep moving forward today. You can only win or learn, okay? There's no failure if you don't quit. You can only win or learn. So, keep moving forward. Anyhow, that's my vlog in English for today. I'm sorry for my Japanese friends. I'll get subtitles to this one day. I just don't want to type it out nor pay somebody for it right now. So, ciao!